girls and welcome to Children's Church this morning. We are so excited to have you here with us. We have a lot lined up this morning. We're going to start with praise and worship, then we've got a Bible story, then we've got a fun experiment, so stay tuned for that one. And lastly, we're going to have a fun game with Hagen and Naomi. They're here visiting us today. And even though we can't be with you together, we're with you in spirit, with God's Holy Spirit. Isn't that right? Yes! So now, Hagen, what are we going to do to get ready for worship? So you can put everything down, you can just get ready, get warmed, get warmed up and get some water or juice or energy because we're going to get tired and we're going to worship God. Amen. wonderful when we can praise and worship God together. I just know that God is smiling when he hears us singing to him like that. Now we're going on to story time. So today we're going to learn about a man called Zacchaeus in the Bible and, and how he met Jesus. So get comfy on the couch and get ready to listen carefully because I have some questions for you after story time is up. Jesus met many people and did amazing things during his three years of ministry. One time, he met a small man with a big name. His name was Zacchaeus, and there are two things you should know about him. First, he was rich. Second, he was short. Zacchaeus was rich because he cheated by taking more tax money from people than he was supposed to. For that reason, just about everybody disliked Zacchaeus. As Jesus was teaching, many came to listen to him speak. Zacchaeus really wanted to see him too. 
He had heard of all the amazing things Jesus had done. The streets were filled with people, and Zacchaeus' curiosity grew stronger by the minute. Zacchaeus tried to get a good spot, but he was too short to see from behind the crowds. No matter how hard he pushed or how high he jumped, he couldn't even get a glimpse of Jesus. The crowds were too many, and the people were too tall. Finally, Zacchaeus found a solution. He ran ahead to where Jesus would eventually pass by, found a big sycamore tree, and climbed it. But then Zacchaeus got nervous. Jesus was coming right towards him. Here he was, sitting in a tree like a trapped cat, and Jesus was coming to look at him. Sure enough, Jesus stopped at the bottom of the sycamore tree and looked up at Zacchaeus. Jesus smiled at Zacchaeus and said, Zacchaeus, hurry and come down, for I must stay at your house today. Imagine Zacchaeus' surprise when he heard that. Jesus was coming to his house. Zacchaeus scrambled down the tree and showed Jesus the way to his house. He was so excited. The bystanders, and especially some of the religious leaders, were shocked. How could this Jesus, who was a teacher of the law, go and eat with a sinner like Zacchaeus, they murmured. The religious leaders were right. Jesus did eat with a sinner. He visited Zacchaeus to teach him the truth and show him how to obey and serve God. Some of the religious leaders cared more about their own reputation than showing God's love to people around them. Zacchaeus knew that he had sinned by stealing money from people. He felt deep sorrow and regret. After receiving Jesus' love and forgiveness, he told Jesus, Look, I'm giving half of everything I own to the poor people, and for all the money that I've cheated people of, I'll give them back four times as much. Jesus forgave Zacchaeus' sin. He said, Today, Salvation has come to your house. That day, Jesus showed God's love to Zacchaeus, and it changed him. There is nothing more powerful than Christ's love. What a wonderful story! Doesn't God's love just change everything? So let's see if you guys were listening carefully. The first question I've got is what was the name of the man we learned about today? Did you answer Zacchaeus? Then you were right. Okay, next question. What are two things that we know about this man that they mentioned in the story? The two things are we know he was very wealthy and we know he was very short. Well done, guys. Okay, next one. Why was Zacchaeus rich? You got it. Zacchaeus was a tax collector and he took a lot more money than he was supposed to. So that's how he got wealthy. He stole from other people. Next question. When Jesus was teaching, Zacchaeus really wanted to see him, but he was too short to see about the crowd. So what did he do? climbed a tree. You are so right. What type of tree did he climb? A sick 
sycamore tree. Good job. Okay, and what did Jesus say when he saw Zacchaeus? and said that he told Zacchaeus to come down from the tree because he was going to have supper with him that night. You are totally right. Next question. What did Jesus teach Zacchaeus at his house? him to love and obey God. Well done boys and girls. Last two questions. What did Zacchaeus do with all his money after Jesus taught him to love and obey him? He gave half of everything he had to the poor people. Wasn't that a wonderful thing to do? And the second one is, he gave back four times what he stole back to the people that he stole it from. Four times that amount of money. Wow. Lastly, what changed Zacchaeus? God's love, Jesus' love changed everything. Amen. All right, let's move on to some fun activities and games. And at the end of that, listen out for a fun song about Zacchaeus in the tree. Bye. All the news we've heard about coronavirus, we know that it's really important that we wash our hands. Is that right? Yeah, today we're going to show you how important hand washing is. So we've got a bowl of water and pepper and Alexia is going to go ahead and put one finger in the pepper. Let's see Alexia. Okay, nice. okay let's see that finger. Oh, that's full of pepper. That's so dirty. That's like the dirty germs that we experience every day. Okay, now go and put your finger in there and rub it, swirl Alexia. it around in the soap water. So that's what happens if you wash your hands. And now put it back in here, in the middle of all that pepper. Let's see what happens. <gasps> Look how those germs flood away when you are washing your hands. Isn't that amazing? And there's one pepper. Wash your hands! Morning again, and um, this is an outside experiment where just ask your parents for permission that just in case some of the flowers get a little Wet or whatever, but for the notice. All you need is an old pair of clothes, Coke, and Mentos to do this experiment, and you'll have a lot of fun. We are going to drop the Mentos in the Coke, and they're going to run. What do you need? One, everybody get ready to go. Three. Thank you boys and girls for joining us this morning. I hope you had fun and you learned a lot like I did. You guys must have a wonderful week, have fun with your family and we can't wait to see you next week Sunday where we're going to learn about Jesus' entry into the city of Jerusalem. That is going to be really, really interesting. But just before you go, 
we've got a very cool song about Zacchaeus in the tree. So listen and sing along if you want to. Bye! was a wee little man and a wee little man was he really little he climbed up in a sycamore tree for the lord he wanted to see hello and as the savior passed that way he looked up in the tree and he said Zacchaeus you come down for I'm going to your house today Yes, I'm going to your house today. <laughs> hey, what's with the Egyptian thing? <laughs> Here we go, one more time. Zacchaeus was a wee little man, and a wee little man was he. Very tiny. He climbed up in a sycamore tree for the Lord he wanted to see. <laughs> there he is. And as the Savior passed that way, he looked up in the tree. And he said, Zacchaeus, you come down! For I'm going to your house today! Hey, hey. I'm going to your house today! Hey.